नमस्कार रिड्यूसिंग बेली फैट इज नॉट जस्ट अबाउट लुकिंग गुड इट्स ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर योर हेल्थ वी नो दैट एक्सेस बेली फैट कॉज इज वेरियस हेल्थ इश्यूज सो टूडे वी विल लुक एट टेन मिनिट योगा रूटीन टू हेल्प यू ट्रिम दैट स्टबर्न बेली फैट एंड इम्प्रूव योर जनरल हेल्थ सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट आसन इज कोनासन नंबर थ्री अ ट्राइंगल पोज हियर यू स्टैंड ऑल ऑफ यू शुड डू विथ अस नाउ कीप बोथ फीट अवे फ्रॉम इच अदर टू एंड हाफ फीट रफली अवे बोथ फुट पैरल टू इच अदर वाइल इनहेलिंग रेज योर बोथ आर्म्स अप एंड स्प्रेड बोथ आर्म्स ऑन द साइड स्ट्रेच दैम ऑन द साइड वेज नाउ वाइल एक्जेलिंग twist your upper body on left side go down look at the tip of the finger which is up stay in that position for 4 seconds come up again while inhaling and go to the other side do the same look down and twist your body to look up stay in the same position for some time and come back again in the normal way do it again now while doing this you are twisting your body and bending forward so automatically the good circulation on your face region head region thyroid area is there and that really helps in all respiratory problems sinuses and all those other problem again it really improves circulation your entire hamstring muscles are getting pulled because you are bending forward and so your leg your hips your whole spine is getting exercise the whole body circulation is perfect your stamina becomes strong it should be done at least twice from konasan 3 we move into standing vakrasan a powerful asan that involves your core muscles so here keep your feet two feet away from each other and now while raising your both arms up inhale and while exhaling twist on one side both the arms should go together as far as possible and then the first arm can swing to go back as much as possible both foot should be firm on the ground no twisting there while inhaling come back this gives you a beautiful twist and do it on the other side it gives opening up to the whole vertebral column the spine and that really helps removing the stress and tension from every nerve of your body and gives a good exercise to your body now let's flow into another asan that is ardha madhyendra asan here you have to sit and stretch your both legs straight in front of you and now try and understand the leg position bend one leg below your thigh try to bend another leg crossing on the other side and then take the arm from the knee towards your toes and twist your body now this is whole asans come back again living in the same position now this you are doing it on the other side here when you are doing the asan your stomach is getting good amount of pressure all your internal organs are getting massaged whole spine is getting twisted right from neck to the lower everything is exercised well entire arms are exercised well and this is a beautiful asan for belly fat too next lie down for the nokasan or boat pose here you lie down first on your back lie down straight both arms on the side now first inhale fully and then while exhaling lift your both legs up and your head up stay in that position for some times and come back in the same way nauka is boat pose do it again 
and when you do this a good pressure comes on your belly on your stomach region your whole spine is also exercised all spinal disorders and the problems of stomach is handled by this asana supposed to be done it would work like a workout if person does this six seven time that would really help reducing belly very fast so this is nokasan and should be done regularly the angle can improve more and more as you practice then let's do bhujangasan or cobra pose so here lie down on your stomach and then both arms on the side your forehead touching the floor your toes together heels together now bring your arms at the chest level fold them elbows upwards and touching the body now while inhaling raise your head first your chin then your neck then your shoulder raise them up stay there for some time and slowly come back to your normal position do it again now here in bhujangasana what is happening is your lower spine is getting compression exercise your stomach upper region is getting good exercise and the belly is getting pressure so your energy level improves very high and when energy is high the problems are gone so try and do this two three rounds at least and regularly now lie down on your stomach and do dhanur vakrasan lie down on your stomach forehead touching the ground both hands on the side and now bend your both the legs from your knee and then hold your ankles and then try and lift your head up and the legs up and lift the whole body making it into a big curve dhanush stay in that position then come back to the normal position and let's do an energizing pranayam called bhastrika so here you should sit and sit in any meditative pose preferably sukhasan or padmasana sit straight back straight both hands on your knee palm facing downwards now in this position remain comfortable relax take one or two breaths breathe in breathe out breathe in and breathe out and now here you have to move your belly stomach in and out so now and that too with a great force so try and do inhalation and exhalation where you are forcibly breathing out breathing in is silent go on doing that when you breathe out your stomach goes in breathe in stomach comes up breathe out stomach goes in breathe in stomach comes up go on doing this for some time the abdomen should be soft and in so automatically do these movements nicely do not more than 30 rounds at a time but do it regularly so that's it this is how you should be able to manage in the beginning start with five rounds and then slowly slowly increase finally let's conclude our session with shavasana first lie down lie down take the support from the side go go on your back lie down flat on your spine and then keep your both feet away from each other say about 20 inches away from each other and both arms stretch them on the side and that too away from each other say 10 inches away from your body palm facing upwards both legs everywhere try and see that you relax your head should be straight as far as possible in a relaxed condition but straight and now here mentally try and go through the entire body check every part of your body and tell your body to relax and so 
try and start with your toe move your toe a bit and relax because your mind should go on your toe come to ankle move your legs a bit and then focus on ankle and relax your ankle come to your calf muscles relax your calf relax your ankles and now go to your knees tighten your knee and relax tighten and relax go to thighs tighten your thigh muscles and relax your muscles and slowly come to your pelvic region abdomen basically anus tighten and relax do ashwini mudra and then the frontal muscles vagina or penis try and see that you tighten it and relax it and then move further try and bring your mind on your navel your navel move little bit stomach up and down focus on your navel and then go up to your chest muscles inhale fully exhale and relax your chest muscles let your mind go to your heart if you can and relax and then move further on your throat region neck relax go further your lips tighten and relax go further your eyes tighten your eyes and relax your eyes your eyelids should be relaxed and then go to the center of your eyebrows and relax your eyebrows should be relaxed then your forehead should be relaxed and then go to your head region come to your arms also try and relax your both fingers and move further every area of your arm and try and relax even that part so your whole body is in a relaxed state and do the same thing go from head to eyes to nose to every part of your body whatever you feel you can feel them and relax every part of your body go through the whole journey again your mind would be busy focusing on every part so mind will not get any other thoughts all the worldly thoughts are out your mind would be telling your body that body also should be relaxed and mind is giving instructions to relax and finally when you go through the whole body then your mind should come on your navel region by this time your whole body is in a relaxed state and you will notice that your stomach is little bit moving up and down since you are breathing automatically stomach goes up and down your mind should be focused on this movement of your stomach and stay still no thoughts should come rather if any thought comes let go bring vairagya from all the things which are happening in the world bring vairagya and let go of everything and relax see your body objectively that here is my body here is my leg my hand my stomach body is separate mind is separate so your mind is going through body and instructing and then body also relaxes so this is how shavasan should be mastered it looks very simple asan but to master this relaxation it needs practice at least 10 minutes you should be in chavasan state they say that shav means dead body die for 10 minutes from the world and then take a long breath in bring your both legs together both arms near you and then slowly turn to the side take the support of your hand and slowly get up 
and come back to the sitting position. So this is how we have completed few asanas which are really effective to reduce belly fat. It is essential to remember that yoga is more than just a workout. It's a holistic practice that can give you overall benefits. Weight loss is the side effect of the practice because yoga is not just about changing your body. It is about transforming your entire life. So keep practicing, stay dedicated only for 10 minutes in a day and slowly accept the benefits that yoga brings to your mind and body. Namaskar.